Your problem isn't the problem. Your problem is how you're thinking about the problem. My name's Mike Monday, and that is what one of my number one mentors has taught me. And in relation to music production, this is going to be important to you if you struggle to finish music. Maybe you start something that you really like, and then as the process goes on, you get slower and slower, more stuck, more frustrated until you absolutely hate it, and probably yourself as well for not finishing it. So what I'm uh, talking about here is what you actually believe the problem is in relation to the music. Because if on multiple times you've started a piece of music that you really liked and then you kind of got uh, stuck halfway through or towards uh, the end and then you've just got thousands and thousands of unfinished uh, pieces of music and you haven't finished anything for a long time, then one of the number one things that you want to look at is what you actually think your thoughts and feelings about the music mean towards the end of the process. Because you did like this piece of music at some point. In fact, if you look at your actual experience, you will notice that sometimes you like it and sometimes you don't like it. So in that context, what sense does it make to believe yourself in every single moment? Because what you like and what you don't like, even about your own music, is constantly changing. So what you need to do somehow is get some objectivity about what you're working on. And the way I think about this is that there are two people who are actually finishing the music. You are two people. You are a creator. That's the person that actually does the stuff in the studio. And you are also the editor. That's the person who listens to the music, makes judgments about it, and decides what to do. One of the fundamental uh, core principles that I uh, do in my own music production, and uh, you can see me doing it in a recent uh, production session that I did uh, just a couple uh, of days ago. You can uh, get to the full production session uh, in the uh, comments uh, in the description uh, below. There's a link to the full uh, session. What you'll see me doing is doing stuff and not actually making a judgment as to whether I think it's good or working in the moment of creation. That's because I am taking the position of the creator and, and not the editor. The way I, I look at myself in the midst of the production process is that actually I am not uh, the, the right person to be making a judgment about the music I make while I'm actually making it. And I know that sounds insane. That's because it's a paradox. It's a paradox that lies at the center of the creative process and why so many people find the creative process difficult. When you are creating, you don't have the ability to be objective about it. When you're in the forest, you can't see the whole forest. So the solution to this is to decide to do something, do it, not worry too much about what you think of it at the time, export the thing, uh, leave it a few days and listen to it later. And in the production session below, you can see me doing this, taking the position of the creator, not being sure about whether I like it or whether I don't like it, not believing my feelings, because at that moment I didn't really have an opinion about it. So I wasn't trying to search for that, oh, that real uh, excitement. I was simply doing what I'd said I, I wanted to do in my list of things uh, and leaving the judgment aside for later. Just doing this one thing will make an enormous difference uh, to your ability to finish music and also, crucially, finish better music. So I hope that's been useful. Uh, if you want to see the full production session where you'll actually see that me putting this into practice, click the link in the description below. Consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you again soon. Onwards and upwards.